Can you talk briefly about the role of dogs in bookstores and the influence that they have? It's essential. Right. It, there's, really, there's really no point in having a bookstore without dogs. We have five dogs who work in the store. Mm -hmm. One of them is very dependent on one of our booksellers, emotionally dependent on a bookseller who works on the floor. So Bear is always on the floor. The other dogs tend to stay in the back with their owners and under the desks. So you don't really know the extent to which there are dogs in the store. But sometimes something happens and all five of them run onto the floor. I was in there a few days ago and a customer was petting one of the dogs and she looks around and she said to herself, oh my God, they're everywhere. And, <laughs> and that really is the feeling. Everybody knows they're there. Mm -hmm. And what happens is parents who have children who don't have dogs come into the store because they want to acclimate their children to dogs. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's easier than going to the humane shelter because then the kid wants to take the dog home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We know you can't take these right. dogs home. But really, we could have classes on learning how to pet a dog. Mm -hmm. And we have very calm dogs. The kids can pull on their ears and and do this. They just push on them over and over again, and the dogs stand there. They're like, okay, <laughs> bring it on. Come on. And then we take them in the back and give them a biscuit. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic.